welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this uh, Adele Grammys look. So she's got some really bold, awesome eyeliner on and of course the nude lips and the whole uh, illuminated skin just makes it all the more perfect. I actually went um, the whole nine yards for you so I found the only green shirt that I have and some gold earrings to kind of mimic her but by no means am I trying to look just like her. But keep watching if you're curious on how I achieved this look. All right, let's get started. So when you're taking a look at the reference photo, we know that she's got very illuminating skin. So what I want to do is first start off with a primer. And um, this is the uh, Cover FX uh, Primer. And I'm going to go ahead and squeeze some out here. Put that all over the skin. Go ahead and put on foundation now. The foundation that I'm using is this guy here. And uh, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. So put your Warrior Stripes on again. So this time around I'm not using a, a beauty blender. The reason is because I'm actually wanting this to be more opaque. I'm not really looking for it to be sheer. So we're going to go ahead and take this brush here and uh, buff it in. With Adele's look, she does have bronzer on. And so what I want to use is something a little bit more natural. And we're going to dust that and fluff that in. Um, what I'm using is the MAC skin finish, um, mineralized skin finish. This one is in the color Comfort. It is um, definitely tan, which is good because we want to warm this up. And because the foundation is a tad too light for me, I'm going to go ahead and use a Morphe S19 brush. This is something that I had gotten in a box before. The only sucky part is it came apart. So I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping to get some new brushes here soon and uh, I'm gonna glue <laughs> I'm gonna glue it back together and make it work okay let's do it here's kind of in the way so I feel like I need to clip this up. no where's my hair clipper all right so we're gonna clip this guy up for now uh, we're gonna go in and um, contour some more. I'm going in with one of my favorite uh, contour colors. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. So what I'm doing is I'm concentrating from this point here towards um, the edge of my lips there. Because when you're taking a look at her contour, it's also in the same fashion. So I'm gonna grab my uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion, Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm gonna go in with the color uh, Venus and I'm gonna do this with my fingers I'm gonna put it at the high part of my eyebrows here and then kind of patting it I'm gonna go in with Naked 2 and I'm gonna first create a V shape like do you see that? And then buffing in. She does have a lot of shadows in this area too, so we are buffing it in towards this area too. We're gonna go back in and really uh, define that crease section there. I feel like we need, we do need um, a warmer brown color. So I'm gonna go back in to one of my all-time favorite, the Tartlet in Blue. So we're gonna go in and grab um, the color Smarty Pants. Warm up that crease area again. Still wanting to maintain that V. And V is in like this, this is like creating a V right there. I'm taking a brush kind of in this fashion here and I'm going to go in and start defining the crease. I'm using the color Jet Setter to go in and kind of blend that again. That uh, fluffy packing brush again and we're going to go in and put the color Flower Child. I'm 
more precise brush like this one and I grabbed the color Funny Girl and I went ahead and popped that in the inner corner of my eye. So I'm going in with the MAC 266 uh, brush. This is uh, pretty much an angled uh, liner brush and I'm going to grab uh, an eyeshadow. I'm going to go back into the Tartlet eyeshadow palette the corner of your nose here we're gonna see where that lines up at the edge of your eyes up to where that eyebrow is and that's kind of the line that you're looking to create for your uh, liner I have a temporary outline using those eyeshadows I'm grabbing the Kat Von D tattoo liner and I am lining my top lash line I am creating a uh, thickness there however it's not going to be as thick as what uh, Adele has. For my eye shape I'm uh, trying to avoid making it too thick or else it can make my eyes look too small. What I'll do is uh, draw uh, within the inner corner uh, of your eyes a little triangle and that's going to help create that feline cat like liner. Now I'm taking a brush and diffusing the eyeshadow that we recently used as an outline. Here I'm going in with the concealer. This is the Maybelline Age uh, Instant Rewind and I'm putting that underneath my eyes uh, creating somewhat of a triangle and buffing that out with a beauty blender. Grabbing the Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder and I'm just gonna go ahead and set that immediately. We're going to skip the tight lining and go ahead and just line the lower lash line. I'm just going to grab that Crave color. Place that color on the lower lash line. Curl the lashes and then we're going to put a buttload of um, mascara. Go ahead and grab Bobbi Brown. This is the uh, Smoky Eye Mascara. So again, going back into that color, I'm going to swirl that. You can work from the tail, uh, from the back here, and kind of towards the front of the face. Now I'm contouring my nose to give it more definition. For lipstick, I'm actually going in with NARS Audacious. This one is the color Raquel. Tarte, again. And this one is in Blushing Bride. Hourglass palette. Some of that there. So guys, that's the finished look. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you definitely try out this look. I think it's going to be a great look for day, night, evening, really really evening or really really early just kidding and uh, definitely don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel let me know uh, down below if you enjoyed this look I hope to see you again next time thanks again for checking out my YouTube channel